Hey, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been a minute. Um, I was going to try and, like, justify the fact that, like, I haven't been doing a lot of advertising or, um, really trying to push my brand, whether it be on YouTube or just doing jobs as, uh, like, winter's hard for detailers, and, I mean, that is a part of it, um, but in all honesty, I kinda, I hit a spot partway through, uh, November, where I kinda just gave up, um, that's, that's completely on me. And I started feeling like, oh, this is going to fail. I'm not going to be able to do this. I should just give up all of those things. And, like, I don't know why I got so down on myself. I don't know why I was expecting to build an empire overnight. But I did. Um, that being said, I mean, 2022, I won't say it was a perfect year, but it had a lot of great moments for me. I mean, I, I mean, heck, I started my business in 2022. I, um, I mean, I worked on a lot of really cool cars. I worked on a, a ZL1. I worked on some other Camaros. I worked on an RV, which I never thought I would ever do. Um, I worked on a lot of really cool stuff, uh, while I'm talking about this, I'm gonna try and cut some of those clips in that I have recorded of clips and, like, photos of some of the cars that I've worked on over the last year, but even with that, I was really not happy with, uh, not being able to achieve greatness overnight, and I kind of let my ego get the best of me, and when I realized that what I was expecting to happen didn't, I, I broke, I gave up. Um, I took some time to reflect over the past couple months, and I came to the realization that like Rome wasn't built in a day. And I was trying to do that. Um, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow sitting back and realizing that um, success doesn't happen overnight. And just because it didn't happen overnight that I'm not a failure. Because uh, you're always your harshest critic. And um, in my opinion, I'm probably the harshest critic that exists for anyone to have. I'm really, really hard on myself. So, with that being said, um, 2023 is gonna be different. Um, I'm not gonna waste any opportunities. I'm not going to allow myself to see anything that I'm doing with detailing as anything other than a blessing. I mean, realistically, I get paid to make cars look their best. That's, like, for some people, being able to do something that they're as passionate about as I am when it comes to detailing and cars in general, uh, most people don't get to do that passion for their career. And... I am. So, for 2023, it's going to be different. That being said, I still have a big ego. I still am going to push my limits day in and day out. And I'm going to continue to be hard on myself. I just need to know when to give myself a break. But, that being said, um, 
year one was a lot of learning experiences on how to build an empire. This year we actually start building it. So let's get to it.